All right, welcome back to the next video. We're about to hit legs. Everyone is in the car. You Gonna go for a 100 kilo squat. Davo's going for 120. Yeah, boy. And Joel's squatting Fuck for squatting. his first time. <laughs> See you there. We are out. Hit a hundred kilo squat. Fuck. Big thing. Five months ago, or four and a half months ago, David introduced me to squats. <laughs> a dead set died on the twenty kilo bar. Dude, it was sweating. On the bar. That was fucking hilarious. Couldn't. I couldn't get the motion. The whole thing. Four and a half months later, hundred kilo squat. Three plates. I'm coming for ya. Yep. Davo hit hundred and twenty kilos. One twenty. It's alright. It's not my best. 130. It's coming. Not a PR, but it's alright. Constantly improving. Now we're going to go hit Nicole's. I'm going to show you a very basic lunch prep. Something quick and easy, on the go. I'll show you what's in my trolley. <laughs> Just got the shopping. Gonna show you guys very quickly, very basic prep for when you're on the go. Just for them, then people that only get to have like one lunch. So for me at work, I work one time for lunch and then I have a snack before gym. So I'm gonna show you how to do that, make it quick and easy. Hope you enjoyed the gym footage. I wanna try and throw that in a bit more just to show, ugh, just to show you guys what we do, how we do it. Really excited tonight. Hit that. 100 kilo squat, something I've been aiming for. Set these little goals so then in a few months you can work and work and work towards them. This is something I've been working on. This is something I was so psyched when I got it because all that hard work finally paid off. You know, all that dedication, sticking to it is working and I was so hyped about it. Happy. More things coming as well. Let's jump into my kitchen. I'm going to show you how to get that meal prepped. See you in there. Alrighty, we are back in the kitchen and I'm going to show you everything I picked up. Alrighty, so very basic lunch prep if you want to call it this is something where if you're busy 
and don't have much time. It's nice and easy to do. I want to quickly show you this bad boy right here. Rice in the microwave. Savior. So easy. Two minutes and it's done. Now, if you have time, cook your own rice. Probably even better. This is 250 grams, only 350 calories. So this one here, Tilda, by far the best one. Over here, there's some other ones I have tried. This one here, probably the next best one. 450 calories though for the 250 grams. It was good, it's cheaper. This one here, $3.40, so there's a big difference in price. This one just went on sale, $1.70, I bought 15 of them. Best thing to ever do now. This one here, I tried as well. 10 calories per 100 grams. Now, this one here, the stench from this thing could probably kill a bear. Now, there's only one place for this one here, and I'm gonna show you where, we, where it is right here. Put it in the bin. It tastes like shit. There is no such thing as rice that's 10 calories for 100 grams. Don't believe that one. But now, if you have time to cook your own rice, which is usually, it's what I do, I cook my own rice. But when you're strapped for time, this bad boy here, two minutes, 250 grams, beautiful, nice and filled up. Now, for me at work, I don't get much time to eat. So I wanna have one big meal, and then before gym, I wanna have one nice snack. So what I do, little trick, what I'm gonna do with my mince is, I'm gonna mix half of it, turkey mince, half of it, beef mince. I like to keep the minces fun, keep it easy, and also I'm never gonna get bored of each mince because I was so used to just eating one type and then I'm so sick of it. Like kangaroo right now, I cannot eat it. Even though it is so lean and nice, cannot do it. So, I'm gonna mix these two up in a bowl, I'm gonna cook my broccoli, Strawberries and rice crackers is something I'm gonna save for you later. It's a little snack. Also, now I know coconut spray is probably not gonna go well with your meat. Got this extra virgin olive oil spray. Heaps better, heaps lighter. 13 calories a spray. Use this. But let's dive into that food. Alrighty, so I got my mince, got my broccoli. Water's boiling. Gonna give this a quick little spray. Now, Use a non-stick pan, it's gonna make life so much easier because you don't need to use much of that spray. Let's get all of this cooking now. Now, seasoning, spices, herbs are your best friends when it comes to food. Today we got the Himalayan chili salt. I got like three of these different flavors. I'm gonna whack it on my food, gives it that extra kick. Probably will have this with a, some form of a sauce as well. Don't be scared of that extra 30, 40 calories to have a sauce and make your food not taste boring because no food should taste boring. There's no such thing as just a plain mince. Make it fun, hit these spices in it. They're nothing, you know what I mean? And it's the big difference between enjoying your food and making it feel like a diet. We wanna make it feel as normal as possible. All right, so the food is all cooked. Got that mince. Got that broccoli, and I've got my scale. Gonna weigh out my food now. 200 grams of mince, 100 grams of broccoli. I've got my food all weighed out, beautiful. Now, best thing with it, that broccoli can sometimes taste pretty plain. Grab a lemon, squeeze some lemon juice, grab vinegar, put it on, make this food fun. This is your food that you're eating every day. Change it up, keep it interesting. You are not on a diet. This is your lifestyle now. Next, I have some snacks. Peanut butter with some rice crackers. Four of these, about 90 calories. A serving of peanut butter, 130. So this snack is about 230. Over here, a spoon I just put in, very similar. 300 calories right here. Please weigh your peanut butter. Use the scale. Now, tomorrow I've already put in, including this rice, my broccoli, all on my fitness pal. Now, it equals 634 calories. So now, I'm probably not going to go for the peanut butter and cracker snack, which is going to be another 230. So what I got over here, cut up strawberries, 250 grams, only 78 calories. 
So, if I was to cook my rice and only put 100 grams of rice, I probably would go with the peanut butter and cracker snack, but my lunch is already pretty big, 630 calories. I'm gonna stick to that lighter one, pre-gym snack, just have 250 grams of strawberries. Strawberries are a savior as well. You can eat like a kilo of them and it's still okay. I wouldn't suggest eating that many because you're probably gonna be sick of it, but eat it in proportion. Now, I've already put it all in my phone, ready for tomorrow. It's set, it's organized. I just gotta sort out my breakfast and I'm gonna decide on that right before I go to bed. Put it in there. Now you can just follow that for the day. So easy, I've got a heap of food left. So this is gonna last me like two, three days, which I'm so excited for. I will probably cook up some rice tomorrow, so I do have more freedom with my snack. But keep your food fun. Add spices, add sauces. I'm fortunate at work where we got like seven different sauces I can use. So sriracha, barbecue, use that extra 20 calories, put it on your food, make it fun. You should not have to sacrifice the taste just because you're trying to stick to a calorie deficit. I eat at a calorie deficit every day and my food is so fun. I genuinely like it. I can play with it so much. Herbs and spices are the key. Lemon, vinegar, chuck it on. I hope you take something from this. I do appreciate you viewing this. If you have any questions about what I got from the Coles, send me a message on my Instagram. It's plugged down on the bottom. I'll hit you up with my shopping list. Also want to get into more depth as well, but this is a very basic meal prep. No excuses. If you have any questions, ask me. Leave your comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.